For our next lesson, we're going to use augmented reality, or I'm going to at least give you an introduction to augmented reality. So, the first thing I want you to do is understand how it actually works. So, when I press the play button, this program Unity is actually going to give you a demonstration. So watch, I press play, and then it's going to actually access my webcam. And you'll see me in a second. Okay, and here you can see a magazine, The Economist. I've actually, um, I've actually scanned this magazine in already, so my Unity program and my webcam know what to look for. And then when I hold this magazine up, as you might have seen a second ago, it's actually going to project a video I made on top, of, on front of the magazine. And you see the video is on loop, so it's actually going to go again and again. Um, but you can see this is a very cool AR feature, and if you if you have done as I asked and followed the tutorials well, you should actually be able to do this by the end of next lesson. So, what do you need in order to do this? Let's have a look. Um, first thing I'll do is close my Unity. Then I'm going to go into Classroom. Now before you come in next lesson, it is essential that you have these two programs downloaded, which I've put on Classroom. Um, so number one is Unity itself. So click on Unity and then go choose your Unity. There are different types, of course, for professionals and just for people like you. Um, and so you get the personal one because that's for free. Um, it doesn't have all the features of the more expensive ones. And then we will tick the box and we go to download Unity installer for Mac OS. And once it's installed, click on it. And then double click the download assistant, open. It might ask, yeah, agree, continue, agree. And one really important thing here is to make sure Viewphoria Augmented Reality is ticked, okay? Um, because that will allow you to do what we're going to do. Once that's done, you can click continue, put in your computer password. And I'm not going to continue and go continue once again. And I'm not going to explain anymore. I'm actually going to cancel m my install here because I don't need Unity. I've got it installed. But you'll find the rest of the install process is pretty straightforward. Just make sure you have this program downloaded for next lesson. Okay. So I'll stop that. I'm cancelling. You should make sure you install it because I've already got it installed. Okay. Anyway. I'll just close that. Um, the other program you will need is the graphic converter. So the graphic converter is here and I'm going to open that up and I'm going to download the graphic converter for Mac because this is very useful for preparing your pictures like my magazine cover. Okay, um, download that and you can see it's a very long download but please make sure you download it fully and complete the installation so in short for next lesson you must have two programs downloaded and ready to run unity and graphic converter